get cancer. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how long I put off doing your reading. <laughs> just been sitting here, not wanting to, not wanna. I just didn't want to. I just. <laughs> And I'm like, is it me? It's probably me. It's probably me. You know? But, for those of you who just don't want to, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> and for the rest of you, welcome to your career reading for November 2021. Let's go, Cancer. Alright. So despite how I'm feeling, I think you're looking at some rock star energy, Knight of Wands, some energetic, energized, getting energized. Yes, absolutely. Needing to get energized. General messages only. Take what resonates for you, Cancer. Leave the rest behind. This is a general look at your energy for the month of November. We are stepping into some Knight of Wands energy. Coming out of it, I should say. Your ship came in. Oh yeah, look at there. The Hermit. The Hermit to the Three of Wands call to go in a new direction you were looking forward to it a creative direction something passionate ah so we're feeling the spark to move our energy forward again i'm mustering it up must like coming out of hermit mode into a brand new beginning the full a new chapter in your life cancer mm -hmm. a new chapter opening Closing. Ground zero. Ground zero. Interesting. The start of your reading. Let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. All right. You're looking at change. Change. Two of pentacles in your strength. Juggling, balancing, but she's also concerned. Someone could be concerned about physical fitness. Physical fitness, wanting to persevere in that sense, in that regard, needing to make a change, a personal change in ourselves, get your work done more efficiently is what I just heard, get your work done more efficiently, Cancer, also your weakness, page of wands, dancing. So I'm sensing, who had this? So a lot of signs are pulling up like physical fitness at this time. Wanting to get more physically active, the dancer. You could be juggling two possible things right now, two possible jobs. Um, it's a new beginning for you, so maybe you've got two options here, two things that you could be doing. You're trying to make a decision. Do I, do I, do I do one, do I do... If I do one, that could take time away from the other. Maybe the other is a more creative venture that I'd rather be doing, but which one is going to pay my bills, that sort of thing. So these are questions that I feel like you're asking yourself this month. Where do you want to devote your time and attention to either creative projects or to what pays the bills? Or ideally you're saying, okay, I want my creative projects to pay my bills, right? So I need to balance out and get my work done more efficiently so that I can work towards the goal, setting a goal of moving full time into my creative pursuits. I feel you. I feel you. I'm the same here, guys. That's why technically, you know, I'm trying to build a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Um, the pennies that I make right now off my YouTube channel, please, guys, don't. Don't don't think I'm sitting in here rolling in dough. <laughs> Not yet. Anywho, but with your help, <laughs> by leaving a little like on the video, Cancer, it goes a long way. I tell you. <laughs> All right, energy that we have to overcome is the Five of Cups. A sense of loss. Loss, but it's also, it's more, um, that's interesting. I feel like everything else is broken except for these five cups. Like even if you look, the five cups are still hanging there, but all the rest of the dishes in this china cabinet are broken. Maybe some of you did move and you had to move or you will be moving is what I just got. 
Careful, make sure you package up your stuff really well, Cancer. That's the change. Relocation, maybe, that we're thinking about making. All right, your outcome potential at the moment is the Five of Wands in reverse. So it's been a struggle, all right? It's been a competition. We want to release it. We want to release it. It's been a ball game. Some of you are athletes. Some of you... I want to put down the strife to create this change in yourself. Which way do you go, Cancer? Let's see. Some of you are musicians. I just got singers, rappers. The Hierophant underlying the spread, Taurus energy. The official, something official, something being made official, seal of approval, spirit says set a firm foundation, build a firm foundation with the three of pentacles, move from the two into the three. Where are you laying down your roots in water? Interesting. And something creative in your water. You're in a lot of fire energy here. The only cups we have for you are technically the saddest cups in the deck. One of the saddest cups, anyway. Five cups. So, maybe we're sad to start over again? Could be. Sure. It feels like we're starting over again. We're not sure if we want to do that. Show me the full please. It's kind of yeah, to the point. You. Cancer. Relocation. Some of you will be relocating. Moving. It wasn't here until it was here, but I felt it. Intuitively, you will be relocating, Cancer. Traveling. Traveling. You could be relocating or straight up traveling a lot for work, but with the Fool plus the Chariot, that tells me relocation. So that could be, again, this huge change that we are making. I don't think I need to clarify that any more than what it is. Show me the change. What is the change ultimately that we're worried about? You're returning to something? Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Your face back at the past now? Well, kind of. You see the Eight of Cups, she's faced in the picture here, she's actually faced towards her future self. And it's this idea of turning your back on the past of what's no longer serving you to embrace, to embrace the future. That isn't here yet, but, you know, there's a sense of... Maybe some of you are back and forth with wanting to return to something. You could be going back to your roots, as it were, going back to your ground zero, your home, maybe where you were born. You could be relocating and going back, and quite literally going back to something. That's the change you're making. And you are the magician here being the single catalyst of change in the decision, right? Let's back me up the Eight of Cups, please. Clear jump, but thank you. Yeah, you're blocking that. Right. Two and two here, two of swords. Libra energy, two of swords. I don't want to have to make this decision. I'm back and forth. So I can't make this decision, but I can't make this decision even though I have to make this decision. Someone knows this is willful blindness and someone doesn't, someone's procrastinating here. They don't want to have to make a decision that they know that they have to make. Hmm. To go back to a Six of Cups. An ex-position, an ex-job, an ex-career. Um... Maybe in the literal translation, Cancer, this looks like maybe having to go back to a job or a position that you put down a long time ago, that you walked away from in the past, an old job maybe. Maybe you have to pick one up, pick up an old job because it helps to pay the bills at the moment. Guys, I understand. I've done that myself. I recently started bartending again. <laughs> 
I recently did, like after several years, but you know, I have more responsibility now too. So I'm like, well, I gotta subs substitute my income somehow. So I um, started bartending again a little bit, but it, it, hey, you know, bills gotta get paid, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm like, I never wanted to have to do that, but it's okay. It's okay. So I bartend again. And that's all right. In the meantime, I have to balance my time and my workload and everything else in addition to everything else that I do. So I understand. I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> I feel you. And I think, um, so this might be requiring you to live in like your south node energy for a while. And you know what, ironically, Cancer, I think you are my south node. How funny. Page of Wands, the dancer. So on that note, I can relate to you. Having to go back to something maybe that you didn't want to have to go back to, but bills got to get paid, you know what I mean? All right. But you have an opportunity coming towards you with this Page of Wands, good news coming towards you in this Page of Wands. Though it be in the weakness, and I feel like with temperance here, it's taken a while to get here. Let me know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. You can have a Sagittarius placement. Perfect timing is what I just heard. Let's see. Yeah, a reunion. Three of Cups. You definitely could work in the service industry. Um, some of you could be dancers yourselves, dancers. Um, but you're gonna be reuniting. It took you took time off. I feel like for a while. For a while, I did myself, guys. <laughs> I mean, COVID hasn't been fun, but <laughs> you know, hey, <laughs> God. All right. So that's the disappointment. The disappointment is knowing we're gonna have to go back to something we quite literally may not really want to do because it's competitive, right? It's strife. You will be letting it down, though, interestingly enough. You will be releasing this. So maybe this is temporary. It's temporary, Cancer. Think about it that way. This temporary and it's five for five. Every sign is doing this. We're doing like seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, six, six, Something along those lines. Here you are, five, 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 fifty-five. You could be seeing that number a lot, five, five, five. This is about you having perseverance, fortitude, nine of wands. You're gonna get through it, right? You're gonna persevere, fortitude. You're gonna make it work. Judgment call up to you, up to you, Cancer. Second chance, second chance, second time. That's also persevering after loss, so maybe you could have had job loss. Hence, you had to start all the way over again, a new chapter in your life, right? Yeah, nine into the seven, seven of wands, being raised up. Promotions is what I just got. You will see promotions, you will see pay raises. But also, there's a sense of being that there's competition in your workplace. You stand out. Many of you are very good at what you do. It can be intimidating for others. Or if you're in a new environment, this is like having to... You're the new kid on the block, as it were, and though you may be more experienced than most of the people you're working with, it's a hierarchy thing because they've obviously been working there longer than you at your new job or your old job, or you know what I mean. So it's that head game of, uh, <laughs> you know, being the new kid, being the new one, the new bartender, or the new waitress, or the new person, you know, maintenance, whatever you are. The new person on the block, ergo, you have to fight for your position. You know, sucks, but it is what it is. If you're the new player on the team, then yeah, you're you're what the rookie. That's what. Oh yeah, I like it. I think it's probably the title of your reading, the rookie. Okay. 
show me the five of wands, please. Yep. Calling it in. Calling it in. You're manifesting. Manifesting this new beginning here with the magician. And in the magician sits in water energy, which is really fascinating. And three different stages, Cancer. It's like, um... He's made of water, or she is made of water, which means she acts purely from her emotions, which is amazing. He, she, wow, tower, tower, tower. This scorpionic season, tower, destabilization. You're bringing about this change, a sudden drastic change that you are calling in, Cancer. It will be fair, equal, and balanced with the Six of Pentacles, but the destabilization of something that you had to work for, you put it down. You will be putting it down. Back and forth. Change, change. You're going to let go of it because behind that Six of Pentacles was a Five of Swords, and you don't like living in the energy of the Five of Swords. And I know this is you making this decision because there you are, Cancer, Two of Cups. you got to have a face-to-face. -face. All you feel like it does is stagnate. It stunts your growth. It stunts your evolution, right? So I feel the need to say this is a temporary setback. A temporary setback, Cancer. Not forever, just... Temporary, you know? Something you have to do right now. But not forever. Okay. I feel you. Advice, please, for cancer. Thank you. Well, yeah, spirit's advice for you, too. Go for it. It's official. Yes. Go for it, Cancer. Um, also, you will be called this tower moment back here. will be calling you back to your spiritual path. For those of you who were worried about that. I feel like that. I feel like... In the collective, especially in the spiritual community, there's... Um, There's a sense of many of you needing to take time off, or you will be called to take time off in order to just kind of mingle, <laughs> you know, in life a little bit. Um, and you worry about that. You don't want to disconnect from your service. You don't want to disconnect from what you do. But you're, it's not you're disconnecting. It's you're taking the time technically to heal with temperance here to heal so that you can come back renewed. You're going to have more than what you even came back with, thought you were going to come back with, okay? So don't mistake in this time off or this diversion to be as a, like a disconnect from your spiritual mission, because I feel many of you that's a concern for you. And I know for a fact it is for me, guys. Like, I want to have the time to dedicate myself to what I'm doing, and I don't want to get burnt out, you know what I mean? You can get tired, you get tired, so I feel you. I don't think you're going to, though. It will require some late nights and some energy. Guys, I'm, I'm recording this reading for you at, at, at almost 2 o'clock in the morning, so you know what I mean? It's these burning the midnight, burning the midnight oil kind of um, kind of energy. Making that head over heart decision to do so. Um, also, you could be saving you're saving money right now. Saving money because you know your happiness awaits, right? Also, some of you are not going to be single for very long if you were worried about that. Nope. Eh. Okay. <laughs> If you were worried about that, Cancer, I, um, I don't think you're, uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> you could meet someone at work. 
And maybe this, if some of you have been kind of like homebodies for a while, this might be a good excuse or time for you to get out of the house, you know? Can't meet anybody if you're cooped up at home. <laughs> Any messages, please, for Cancer? Thank you. Notice the signs, Cancer. Notice the signs from knowing virtue. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. Cancer. That's beautiful. The other day I was doing some readings and I found a feather right here on my shoulder, which I never had that. Just a random feather right here on my shoulder. I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's a sign that, you know, my guides are right there sitting on my shoulder. An angel on your shoulder, as it were. I love that. Um, they do other things too. <laughs> you learn to pay attention to the signs that your guides send you because they communicate with all of us in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Your soul journey card, Cancer, yeah. Courage, purple, intuition. You could have brown eyes. I do. So this makes perfect sense. I don't know. Is this for me today, Spirit? <laughs> Some of it's resonating. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Fear of the unknown with confidence. What are you afraid of? There's nothing to be afraid of, Cancer. Interesting. Ah, this, oh, that hit, that hit hard. Okay. <laughs> you pulled school as your dream card. In school, this is about examining your beliefs about being tested. Cancer. Examining your beliefs about being tested. This is a test. You going back to something from the past is a test. Some of you Cancers are being tested. Um, quite literally tested by spirit. Uh, yeah. Your fortitude, your sense of drive and will, what are you capable of right now? Oh yeah. Where do you stand on your karmic journey? Oh yeah, you're about to be tested, Cancers. So are you ready? Are you ready for the test? Can you pass the test? How do you feel about being tested? Examine your beliefs about being tested. And that can come from how you actually took tests in school. How did that make you feel? How did being tested make you feel growing up? You know what I mean? We develop blocks in our lives, guys, in our relationships, according to how we approach taking tests in our lives. For some of us, taking tests was actually something that was quite daunting. Quite, it wasn't always, you know, some people can breeze right through a test, you know, cool. Some, for others, it's, it's, it's daunting. It's like heart palpitating kind of feeling. It's scary because it's not a test, you know, it's not always a true measure of your aptitude or your knowledge or your ability. It was, it's a measure of how good you are at taking a test, right? What can you execute in X amount of time? You know what I mean? So there's that. But everybody has their own pace and depending on how you were accustomed to being tested, Cancer, and also, like, how did you get reprimanded? If you did something wrong growing up, how were you reprimanded for it? You know what I mean? It, that can even, like, discourage, if you were reprimanded harshly, that might even have discouraged many of you from doing things a certain way or from even wanting to be tested, you know what I mean? Especially if you felt like you failed a lot or if you did fail straight up. How were you treated when you failed? 
How did you treat yourself when you failed at something? Did you give up? Did you say, oh, I'll never do that thing again? Did you run away from your problems, you know? Eight of Cups. Some of you are really... It's almost like Spirit is putting this block in front of you again because it's something that you needed to heal. Saw the Six of Cups from like a childhood wounding. That's almost what it feels like. So if you feel like you've come all this way forward only to take three steps back or two steps back, or 10 steps back, it's because there's something about that lesson in your life that you are transmuting. And being that we are in Scorpio season, the energy of, of death and transformation, this is all about endings and new beginnings. You started your reading with the full. You know what I mean? A brand new chapter. But, or we could say it's a brand new perspective on XYZ whatever opportunity it is that you're being called to examine again that you didn't want to see two of swords right i don't want to see this i don't want to be reminded of that thing that i had to heal from right or that person or that job or that scenario or that co-worker Ugh, i don't want to have to see that person I don't want to have to be challenged. Five of Wands. I don't want to have to be, have the competition around me, right? So it's really no wonder how we all kind of grow up having a skewed sense of, of, of self-confidence because many of us were reprimanded so harshly when we did something wrong as a kid we didn't know how to properly transmute the energy because we were learning you know what i mean sure some of us were just stubborn and stuff like that but most of us were most of you i feel you weren't bad you weren't bad kids you were really good kids you know what i mean you just dealt with a lot of bad energy. You dealt with other kids or even parents who acted like kids who didn't know how to let you fail. And it's okay. You failed. So what? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not the end of the world. If people were more, more calmer about that, I think we would uh, have a lot more... Well, we're learning now, you know? There would certainly be more mature adults running around than there are so anyway just my two cents interesting this message wanted to come out for you today though. Yeah. don't be so hard on yourself that's all i want to tell you all right don't be so hard on yourself okay fun well, number 13 Feeling the world. Number 13. Try I turn right to it? Would you look at that? Turn right to it. Okay. <laughs> Sensitivity to the feelings of others. Awareness of the whole world. And a broader perception. Empathy overload and overwhelm. Oh boy. Empathy reminds you that you are not alone. It is a beautiful capacity to feel the connectivity all around you giving you a profound sense of belonging, a broader, experiences, a broader experience of being part of the larger whole. That said, it can also be overwhelming, especially when you don't know where you are, where... Oh my God. I am so sorry, guys. Okay. That said, it can also be overwhelming especially when you don't know where you end and the rest of the world begins. Now is the time to be clear about your boundaries. 
ask yourself whose energy you've tuned into. You might find it's not even yours. Wow, that makes so much sense, guys. So a lot of you don't even realize you're walking around carrying the energy of others. You think it's yours. You think maybe you're mad. And maybe some of you are, but most of the time, sometimes it's, you're actually carrying around the energy of people around you and you don't even know it. And Cancer's you being a water sign and this meat and this a cardinal sign and also like this shifting energy, like with the magician here, in and out of different phases, a change. Many of you are empaths and you take on the emotionality of those around you and you don't even realize it. If you're feeling off or drained when you're with someone, they may be siphoning your energy. In such an instance, this connection is not good for you no matter how charismatic the person is or how attracted to them you feel. Do not mistake codependency for closeness or allow your boundaries to become too porous. Trust your instincts and take care of you. I had that situation happen to me very recently, just like that, guys. And I basically had to tell a girl to fuck off because she was projecting her energy onto me. And I'm like, that, you know, I'm sorry you're going through that, but that is your problem. I'm not here to take on your burden. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down, guys. As hard as it is. Oh, that's so selfish. No, it's not. It's called boundaries. It's called you protect your energy. It's called many of you took on people's energy karmically even, and you didn't even know it. You didn't even know it. But now that you are fully aware, uh, many of you are, many of you cancers are fully aware of how you play a role. You know what's yours and what isn't. It's like, I was in a good place. Next thing you know, how did I get over here into this funk? The moment such so-and-so walked in, it's because you're picking up on their energy. You're picking up on their vibe. Sometimes they pass it on to you. You know what I mean? The next thing you know, you're like, I was fine. What the hell happened? <laughs> anyway, it's just called setting proper boundaries. You know? You're also being asked now to be aware of how your words and actions may affect others. While it's not your job to determine how someone will respond to you, discernment is necessary. Be firm, yet kind. Keep in mind that people-pleasing will not give you what you truly need. That said, your empathy is beautiful and important. It just has to be balanced in order for you to access its wondrous gifts. Today, celebrate the beauty of your sensitivity and that of others. So don't shame yourself for how sensitive you are, Cancer. This is one of the most beautiful things about, about you as a water sign and your energy in itself. Um, and that you should honor that, okay? But also to know that just because you're capable of transmuting those waters doesn't mean you like to. It doesn't mean you should have to either. Don't take what's not yours. Don't take on what's not yours, right? And if this reading didn't serve you, Cancer, if this reading didn't, you don't even feel like resonated with you today, then bump what I'm saying. Again, this is kind of a future prediction, so I don't know. You could be in this energy, right? Or, or go through various stages of this throughout the month of November. Take it as it fits. Also, technically, all my readings on the channel are timeless. I just time stamp them for you so you know when the energy was recorded. But if it's yours, it's yours whenever you find it. Okay? Cancer, I hope this reading did serve you. Do let me know by leaving a like on the video. That does let me know if the readings are resonating with you guys. And I do appreciate you for doing that. Cancer, sending you so much love and light. I hope you're well out there. Take care.